What I like best about my school is my teacher, Ms. Collins, because she taught me if we don't understand our past history, we won't understand our future. When I grow up, I'm going to go to college and become an actress. Welcome to Choices with Jeanette. I'm Jeanette Harris, and thank you all so much for watching Choices with Jeanette, and thank you for shopping at Fiesta Mart stores. I'm here with Dr. Michonne Benson with Wallop. Now, there might be someone out there that doesn't know what Wallop is. That's true. Jeanette. Which is a strange thing. We are the best kept secret in Houston right now in terms of education. Wallop stands for the William A. Lawson Institute for Peace and Prosperity. And we've been open now for 12 years. And we're proud of the uh, students that, the student population that we've built here. Wow. Now, last time we did an interview, we were at the girls' campus. That's correct. Now we're at the boys' campus. That's right. The boys' campus is on Texas Southern University's campus. Yes, it is. This is a science building I used to be in, in Lanier Hall over there. Okay, so you have a rich history. Just already. a few years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but it, it, it's such a good thing for the students to be able to see other college students. And when I talked to some of your students earlier today, each one of them was saying, I want to go to college. Sure. That is one of our primary concerns, you know, and not just enrolling students into college, not just making sure that they get to college, but that we see them through college. A lot of the students who have matriculated successfully through Wallop have mm -hmm. actually become college students and they still come back to see wow. us, either to get assistance or to guest lecture about their experiences to motivate other students to come through, mm -hmm. or they tutor or, or mentor uh, some of their younger Wallopites. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, who can come to Wallop? Is this a private school? Just explain to them so the parents will know, can my child come? I'm not as happy as I wanted to be in the school he's attending now. Sure. And can I change? Who is this school open for? That's a great question. Wallop is an open enrollment state charter school and just like any public school we are accessible by all students we do not disallow students for coming for various reasons uh, as long as we have the capacity to hold students and we have the ability to fund special programs that any students may need then all students are welcome it is free to the public for sixth through eighth grade boys on this campus mm -hmm. and then sixth through eighth grade girls on the girls campus mm -hmm. well i had an opportunity when i was here when i first arrived some of the boys did not know who I was yes, and walked over to me and said, would you like to hear my speech? Wow, yes. It, you know, and I can't say that that's common every day, but we do have a lot of young men and then young women on the girls' campus who have ambitions. Um, we teach them that public speaking is paramount, that they must understand the importance of proper grammar mm -hmm. and presentation, mm -hmm. and so a few that you spoke with today definitely had their speeches ready. We've been preparing for a uh, dare to not use drugs, the Red Ribbon Week, mm -hmm. and so students have been working in their classes with their classmate teams oh. to create speeches about not using drugs and uh, being oh. kind. It's cool to be kind at Wallop, and that's oh. what that week is about. So that explains, and I said, well, when did you, he said, I just, I just thought of this just a few minutes ago. I'm so glad he shared that with you because it, it means a lot that students are able to feel comfortable enough in their own skin to be able to relate to everyone with whom they come in contact in our larger learning environment. But you know what I tell people all the time, it's good to have a skill mm -hmm. and it's good to have degrees, sure. but confidence, and that's what I saw in those boys, and our boys really do need confidence. That's right. It's, one, it's cool to be kind, and it's smart. It, it, we used to say, smart is the new swag at Wallop. You know, that is what makes uh, a man. Wow. Is integrity, confidence, and self-esteem. So we're hoping that we're building those with our community partners here at the school. So you all have a program, Stream. Tell me more about that. I am so excited about this program. Okay. Um, we are launching, you know, STEM is the, the big catchphrase, it's mm -hmm. the catch-all. Mm -hmm. But Walla, because we realized that we're one of the only community schools left in this neighborhood uh, for middle school students. And so we really want to make sure that all students, not just the middle school students who attend Walla, but all students in this immediate environment have an opportunity to access engaging, rigorous STEM-related programming even if their own schools don't offer it. And so beginning... Even if their own schools don't offer even it. Even if their own schools don't offer it. We have an opportunity for middle 
elementary and high school students. When we, when we say elementary, I mean late elementary school students. So fifth grade through 12th grade to engage in robotics, C-STEM, mm -hmm. and National Science Ball. Not everyone knows what C-STEM is. C-STEM means communications, science, technology, engineering, and math. And that is a specialized program that was developed by a, a very wonderful woman, Dr. Reagan Flowers, and it has just taken off over the years. She's been around for about 15 years now, mm -hmm. but her initiative is something that we are participating in this year full sail, and we are encouraging students, again, in the community to join us in our campaign to make science fun, relevant, and applicable in their everyday lives. So what will happen between November and May? November the 2nd is our first teach day and I will be taking pilot students, those are the leaders of their respective four member teams, I'll be taking them on bus to Channel View, which is our first teach session and they'll learn what they have to learn in this phase of the EcoBot Challenge and they'll bring that information back, teach their teammates and then from November to May they mm -hmm. will be working on their robots wow. to compete in six challenges and that okay. May 17th date is uh, the challenge day at George R. Brown. We are really looking forward to it, but it's a lot of work until then, and that's what we need to prepare students for. But this is not what I want to emphasize mm -hmm. is this is not, this is a community program that even if they do not attend Walla, that's correct. It's okay to join this program. That's okay. That's right. We are partnering with Trey Magazine, mm -hmm. we are partnering with Texas Southern University, it's Walla, state, local, and business leaders as well as Jack Hayes High School. Okay. And we are going to be offering the STEM opportunity to all students in the immediate environment who want to take advantage of it. Wow. So if the parents wanted to get in touch with you, how would they do it? The, the parents will call the school at 713-225-1551. Right now, we're looking for about 125 students to participate. If we get more students than that, then we will find a way to fund the program. Wow. So we, we are really hoping that we get a full-scale push to sign these students up and to get them on these teams. We're looking for volunteers too, Ms. Harris, because some of these four member teams are going to need supervisors. Okay. Uh, some of them can be high school students just to mediate any confusion that goes on. The students teach themselves, so it doesn't require a teacher. What it requires is someone who is really interested in facilitating disagreements. Well, I think the robot should go this way or okay. I think it should go that way. Okay. Somebody who's old enough to be able to mitigate any things that may come up. But other than that, we're, we'll be good to go. Well. I might join. We'd love to have you. I know. We would love to have you. I like Walla. Oh, we love <laughs> you. Thank you. What I like about Walla is that we always learn to solve problems and work together as a team. The principal always teaches us how to strengthen our knowledge and wisdom. When I grow up, I would like to attend Juilliard School of Music and become an amazing performing arts teacher. I want to encourage you to contact Walla. This will help, as the child said in there, it'll help you with wisdom and knowledge. knowledge. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeanette, for making this information available to everyone in the, the greater Houston community. We welcome the support. And what better can we do than to support students who really are eager to learn? And this is this stream. We want everybody to be upstream, downstream, <laughs> flowing through the stream that starts at Wallop but does not end. But you all have so many good things, so. Sure, we You do. know, really, I'm serious. You all really do have a lot of good things. And it's nothing like learning to express yourself. And, and that's what I see. That's right. We just, I think I mentioned before, we have a, a Reader's Theater group that just performed at the First Unitarian Church. That was their first performance for the semester. And like gangbusters, they knocked it out. And these were complicated poems. These weren't little, Mary had a little bit okay. of poems. These were choreographed poems. Mm. They had to say in unison, they had to be crisp and sharp, and they were absolutely fantastic. Mm. Okay. Contact information. Contact again, 713-225-1551. You'll be glad you did. <laughs>